And the BET award goes to... Ooh, Essence, WizKid featuring Justin Bieber and Tab. Afrobeast News. So guys, let's talk about WizKid, the one and only WizKid, Machala himself. So WizKid right now is still on his winning streak. This guy have been on a winning streak ever since he dropped the, uh, the Made in Lagos album. And ever since then, he's been on this so-called winning streak that have been endless so far. Anyway, the latest in the winning streak of WizKid is the BET Award ceremony where he was able to take you know take home an award after being able to get two nomination and winning one now in case some of you guys don't know whiskey was nominated for two categories at this year's BET event now whiskey was nominated for the best collaboration of the year and also the best uh male R&B slash pop artist of the year and in both categories whiskey went you know against some heavyweights uh let's say for example the best collaboration of the year whiskey was going against you know superstars like dj khalid lil baby and lil dog in the song every chance i get not just that, he was also going against Baby Kim and Kendrick Lamar on the song Family Ties. He was going against Doja Cat and Scissor on the song Kiss Me More. He was also going against Drake, Future and Young Thug, Way Too Sexy, as well as Bia and Nicki Minaj, whole lot of money. So, Whiskey was really going against some of the biggest of biggest superstars in america and whiskey in this category was able to secure the win you know one over drake and one over Nicki minaj so big feats for whiskey whiskey was able to get uh a win at the awarding ceremonies anyway guys without much talk on my part yes the yes a clip of uh of pems accepting the award on whiskey's behalf because even though whiskey was uh was representing heavily at the bet's you know by winning this award thames uh whiskey wasn't i mean whiskey wasn't there in person to accept the award whiskey wasn't at the bet's you know in uh, in the house he wasn't there so thames accepted the award you know on behalf of whiskey now here's that clip roll it thank you bet thank you Everyone, I want to give, I mean, this this award is for really Wiz. Now, the second category that Whiskey was nominated uh, was for the best um, R&B um, slash pop artist. And Whiskey was going against um, heavyweights like Blast, uh, like Chris Brown, like Givion, and The Weeknd. In this category, Whiskey lost to none other than The Weeknd, as expected. And... We all know that if Whiskey was ever going to lose this category, Whiskey was either going to lose this category to Chris Brown or The Weeknd. And um, yeah, and that's exactly what happened. Um, Whiskey, you know, gave um, a strong, strong uh, contention on this particular one. And uh, at the end of the day, Whis- at, and at the end of the day, you know, The Weeknd took it, which was, which was fair enough. So guys, yeah, that's pretty much what went on at this year's BET event. Starboy Whiskey, you know, steady flying high, still on his winning streak, just getting the accolades and the recognition. But guys, here, yeah, 10 more things about this particular one. And guys, in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe, as well as turn on post notifications and stay tuned for more Afrobeast related entertainment and just coming at you. I'm Afuna, guys. Peace.